before the video starts, there's going to be a lot of cursing and an ear rape. So if you don't like that, please quit out the video. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy the video. Enjoy. Is Dwight Powell the next prime Blake Griffin? Because he looked like it tonight. Anyways, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the Lakers and how they piss me off again. So we're going to start off with this. How do we blow so many leads? I mean, seriously, we've blown so many leads, I can't even count anymore. I seriously can't count anymore. This, The third quarter, we literally get shit on. We play like a bunch of bitches and a bunch of school children, a bunch of AAUs, a bunch of LA fitness players. That's how we play like in the third quarter. We literally blow a bunch of leads. We're looking like the Los Angeles Flippers, the basement team. In fact, we've blown so many leads, we're looking like the Falcons. We're looking like the Warriors who blew a 3-1 lead. We were choking so much, and I don't like it, and it's pissing me off, and I hope we can stop this shit. Anyways, I've lost so much confidence, I seriously don't know if we get if we get healthy, get LeBron back, I seriously don't know if we can repeat. I know some Laker fans are like, ah, when LeBron comes back, when we're healthy, Lakers at four, Lakers in this, like, bro, let's be realistic here. Can we actually do that? That's a big question, because I need to see it to believe it. That's who I am. I need to see this to believe it. Right now, I do not see shit. All I see is a bunch of, of LA fitness players playing like shit. That's what I feel like right now. So there's that. Second thing, Anthony Marshawn Davis Sr. or Jr. Excuse me. What are you doing out there? Seriously, what are you doing out there? I mean, first of all. Every time you get injured, the Lakers need to like deduct ten thousand dollars off your paycheck because you need to somehow get healthy. Like I'm tired of you like missing like. In fact, you miss half the more than half the season, dude. Like get right, dude. It's not like you're like. I know you're super injury prone, but like there's there's got to be some kind of health machines out there that can you know support your health because right now what are you? You always get hurt. I don't like it. I seriously don't like it. We pay you a hundred ninety million dollars a year or. For five years to play basketball but you're not doing that you, <laughs> like seriously this year if we deduct your money off of like days you miss you probably make like five million or ten million dollars yeah on top of that all of your stats straight up decline from last year points rebounds assists steals blocks and shooting percentage all of them down now the thing i have concern about you anthony the thing that kind of pissed me off is you had 71 days to get right with your health, with your health, but you didn't do that. I mean, you came in the season and you were still banged up. Two, you came in out of shape, which that affected you the most as well because you didn't catch many lobs. You did not look super athletic like you did the following year. This year, you don't look that athletic. I'm sorry to say the truth, but you don't look athletic. I'm serious. Like last two games, like. Have you caught a lob yet? In fact, when was the last time you caught a lob? Like seriously, someone gotta tell me, when was the last time Anthony Marshawn Davis Jr. caught a lob? Because I don't know. I seriously don't know. And on top of that, you play like garbage can. Last two games. Two of 10, five of 19. I'm gonna give you two more games before I'm gonna start flaming your ass. Markeith Morris. This guy woke up feeling dangerous. In fact, he woke up feeling like the next GOAT. 2 of 11 shooting. Woo! It's 0 of 6. Wow! From 3. Anyways, I know you've been balling the last couple games or a couple games when LeBron AD has been out. I just had to make fun of you there, but I need you to turn up next game. Okay, dude? Next thing. Frank fucking Vogel. Seriously, dude, what the fuck is wrong with your fucking rotations, my guy? Anyone with half a brain could make up better rotations than your dumbass. I'm not even kidding. What in God's name did you think, like, oh, we don't need Montrose tonight. We're going to play more Montessor and Trouble. We're going to play Billboard tonight. Oh, look how that went, dude. Look how that freaking went, my guy. We, in fact, your rotation made the white fucking Powell. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No, 
look like Prime Blake Griffin. Anyway, anyways, excuse me for the ear rape. I just had to do that. But seriously, Vogel, what the heck's wrong with those rotations, my guy? Anyone with half a brain, like I said, can literally make a better rotation than you. What, why would you think like one day, oh, I'm going to wake up and say, hey, I don't want Montrez to play. I'm going to play these bum-ass dudes and let them play. Let's play big. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vogel. What were you thinking? Seriously. Anyways, um, last couple, if this whole season has kind of been disappointing to me. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I literally could have made a rant video like every single game, but I was like, nah, bro. I know people are gonna say, be patient, this shit like that. But like, I think it's at the point where it's like, I think I'm gonna make a rant video. So here it is. Um, I'm pissed off I'm being for real I'm like this shit is pissing me the fuck off the Lakers are playing like fucking LA fitness bums out there man every single fucking night dude brick machines cardio machines we have too many of those guys too many cardio machines and too many brick machines I'm tired of this dumbass shit bro anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like drop a comment I'll reply to whatever I can and LeBron, we need you. We need you, homie. We really need you, man. Our Lord and Savior, we need you. Anyways, bye.